Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get realistic ground textures in RCT3. This set is by DJF and it is a permanent texture replacement. So this is something that you're going to want to you're going to want to back up the, the texture files um, or the files that it will be replacing. Um, I like to generally just have a whole backup of my um, all of my Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 files. Um, somewhere, but uh, we'll get to that uh, in a moment. Now, this is the uh, only link I can find on Shy Guys World, um, and this was, I believe, a um, a pre-release. I don't think it's the, I don't know if it's the final release, um, because this is pre-REL train texture replace. So I don't know if it's the actual final product um, or if it was ever finished but it does work um, and this I don't have any issues with it um, personally there are no bugs um, as long as you install it correctly it should work perfectly um, and this this set it's just it's just beautiful really there it, it's a complete game changer it really breathes new life into the game and even if you're just building like a vanilla park uh it, it still makes it look really cool and now here's the link um to it and i will have this link in the description box um and you just want to download this from mediafire um and i already have it downloaded and so you're gonna get um you're gonna get a zip, a, a RAR file um, like this. You want to use Windows RAR or something similar to extract it to whatever folder you downloaded it to, and then you're gonna get a README file uh, with instructions. I already have one open. Um, this will give you the directories you want to put these folders in. So if what I'm doing is confusing um, to you refer to this um, because it should give you instructions on what to do but uh, the folders are actually named after each folder that the files are supposed to go into in your rcd3 directory so it's a little self-explanatory um, so you've got your gui folder your style in your train folders and those are all in your rct3 directory so here's your G G gui folder um and you want okay so back at the download um you, you're gonna want to open that folder it says front screen so you it's gui then front screen then scenario logos and then a folder called base so gui front screen scenario logos and base and then you've got uh, front screen common ovl front screen unique ovl front screen 2 common ovl and front screen 2 unique ovl um, and you're going to select all four of those and you're going to copy uh, those files now you're going to come back over here and you're going to open your GUI folder and it said front screen so we're going to open front screen scenario logos and then the folder that's called base so these are the files that you are going to replace you want to make a backup folder somewhere of all of the files that you're going to be replacing in case you screw up for some reason um so anyway so after you've backed up you're going to um take those files that you copied and you're going to paste them now i already i've already uh i've already done this so i don't need to um replace these but uh so now we're going to go back to our ct3 um directory we're going to go back to um our download and this time we're going to go to the style folder and then there's uh this folder called custom 
Now, the custom folder, if you haven't watched my tutorial on custom scenery um, and custom flat rides in the RCT3 directory, um, this folder custom, if you don't have any flat rides or custom scenery that use this folder, it won't exist. So you have to create a folder called custom. Um, and then inside of that is where you will place like your folders for your custom flat rides. And um, in this case, the ground textures uh, will be using a folder. Um, so back in our download style custom. Now DJF is the folder that you're going to want to copy and you're going to place it into the custom folder in your RCT3 uh, style custom folder and I've already got it here um, so you would yeah but so you would just paste that in um, and it should have these uh, files in it now back in our download folder we have a folder called terrain you're going to click that so inside of it so there's the folder terrain and inside is a folder called rct3 and then you have um, these files so you're going to copy and paste those files out of this folder you're going to go into your rct3 directory find the folder that says terrain which matches the folder that we just opened now there's two folders here one rct3 and ct you want the rct3 folder and then you'll just paste those in now i already have them so they're there already and that should be all you have to do and then once you've loaded your game your textures will be replaced and when you open uh, your terrain textures you're gonna have all of these new textures now if you've done a park already and you're working on it you're midway through um, some of your textures might get messed up like this grass texture is now leaves so you might have a big section of leaves where you had grass before uh, so you may have to go back and redo your textures but um, yeah you've got all these really nice textures the only thing about the grass this grass texture is it doesn't really match the backgrounds uh, it's quite dark in comparison there is some lighter grass textures so this is probably the closest thing so I don't know if um, if I paint this, this might match. I think this this probably will match. Maybe a kind of, sort of. Let's see. So that's better. It's closer to that green back there. So you could probably just repaint your whole um, map with this grass here. It's the fourth one. Uh, it's on the bottom fourth one over. Now, one thing I think you'll probably notice is that uh, this texture kind of repeats a lot. Uh, and so you want to break up these textures to make them look really good. And uh, the way I usually do that um, is I will take other grass and just kind of randomly click with uh, only one grid selected and you can see that that's already breaking it up and then if I wanted to add like leaves or something I can go in and add some leaves here and there if I wanted to add some rock I can do that um, one easy trick you can do is uh, you can use this texture here 
and there's a method known as the checkerboard method. Uh, so say you want to take that light green grass, but you also kind of want to mix in some rock. So what you would do is you would go in and you would do basically a checkerboard uh, like this. And then you could add in your rock and you'll see that it's blending together now. And so you have a whole new texture that way, or you could do something else. So you could do leaves. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty neat texture uh, trick. And this works with just the vanilla textures as well. Uh, so there's really like endless combinations of things that you can do now. Uh, one thing is that once you get used to this, you don't really need the checkerboard anymore, but it's good for when you're just starting out. So, um, that's basically it. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Now, one thing that I really love about this, uh, these textures is that if you have um, Belgabor's Invisible Doodads, there are path textures. So you can um, use the invisible paths and you don't have to use path covers, which is really cool. And then you can just line them with something like uh, Moby's walls, like curved walls. Um, where is it? Moby's curved walls, concrete, stones, like, I'm just gonna use stone, just as an example. And I'm gonna turn on the grid. And then you just line it like this and just set it kind of close to the edge. Or you can uh, bring it out a little bit further like that. And then you'll have your path and it just saves a lot of time with uh, not having to place path covers. It's really, I really love it. And then on top of that, um, it just looks, it looks so much better when you place uh, well, trees and things around because the, the shadows cast really nicely onto these uh these paths. It just looks really nice. So um, and then I I did it for the thumbnail I of this video. I did just a little bit of terrain painting here and um just kind of as an example of what you can do. As texture and you decide the background mountains are clashing, you can always toggle them on and off. You can just go into the settings and go to the graphic settings and you can simply scroll down to background mountains and just toggle that and it will get rid of that altogether, which is generally how I play because I honestly don't really care for the background mountains um there are mods that can replace those i have not played with those at all so i'm not going to really get into that in this video but if i get a little bit of experience um on how to do that then i will make a video on that but for now that is how you get realistic ground textures in RCT3. I hope this was a helpful tutorial and I hope that um, this improves um, your gaming experience in Roller Strike Moon 3. I will see you guys in my next video and uh, have a good day or night.